In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to cycle and view available texture channels and mesh maps on your 3D model. And this will help you to see information on that channel and on those baked mesh maps to track down problems and just to understand what the information on that individual channel does and you can view it more clearly. So here I have a vending machine that I created and textured and at the moment I am viewing it within the material mode so I can see the lighting and everything, all the channels, all the mesh maps being displayed on this mesh as they are done and complete. However, you can switch over to individual channels or individual mesh maps to see the information within it. And it's done through this drop down menu right here at the top right. You can see right now I'm viewing it as material, means it's viewing everything together as one. But if you use the drop down menu, left click, you can select individual single channel to view the information within it. Or you can scroll down a little further and view individual mesh maps. Now, instead of using this drop down menu, what you would often do is use a shortcut. The shortcut key for individual single channels and view through all of them one by one is C. And if you continue pressing C, it will go through all individual channels one by one. And if you want to go back to kind of do the one before you just viewed, just press Shift C and it'll go back up the stack. So C will cycle down, Shift C will cycle back up. And if you want to view individual baked mesh maps right here. Again, you can use the drop down menu to view them individually. Or if you press B, it will cycle through all mesh maps going down. And if you press shift B, it will go back up. And the difference between the two is single channel will display the individual single channel information for your mesh. So you have base color, metallic roughness, emissive normal metallic and so on. And mesh maps is what you baked within Substance Painter when you brought the original mesh in. So when you bring your 3D model in, whether you have a high poly mesh or just a single individual mesh, you will often have to bake mesh maps. Either use the texture settings menu right here and bake mesh maps, or you switch over to the paint, or you switch over to the baking menu F8 and bake your mesh maps here. And Substance Painter analyzes your mesh and bakes mesh maps to understand the curvature, the dents, and the overall information within world space and bakes mesh maps. So it can help to texture your mesh using smart materials and procedural effects to create the dirt and the grime and everything that Substance Painter is known for to create more realistic weathering on your surfaces. And these mesh maps are all right here. You can see they're already baked. And this is what you're going to be viewing if you need to take a look at those individual mesh maps and again they're available right here and B will cycle through them all if you need to take a look at what thickness is doing height pen normal opacity some of those are not going to be available but many are and it just helps you to track down problems if you have some mesh map errors that you need to solve and if you need to get back to your original material to see what it would look like as you are painting and assigning all the materials and all the effects onto your mesh just press M it'll go back to the material mode and this is the one you're going to be working in the most and very last thing if you go back to layers instead of viewing individual channels or mesh maps that you baked in Substance Painter you can also view individual masks within the stack. So for example, if you need to see what a specific effect that you've applied onto your mesh along with the mask, you can just view that mask alone on your mesh. So for example, here I have dirt that I applied to my mesh. It's very subtle, but I can see what that dirt is doing by holding down Alt and left clicking on the black mask and it will display that mask only for that layer. And I can see a lot more clearly what that mask is doing. And if you need to go back to your material, just left click on the icon next to it. And I can do this for any individual layer that has a mask. Alt, left click, it will display only that mask for that layer, for that dirt fill layer too, for example. And I can just do this for any mask that I have within the layer stack. And then just simply left click on the icon next to it or press M to get back to the material mode.